Hi there, cinema lovers. If you were feeling a little lonely due to the lack of movies provided in 2020, well, buckle up, because 2021 has a lot in store for us. From highly anticipated thrillers to the return of our favourite superheroes, there's something for every taste. So here are the titles everybody is most excited to watch in 2021. After what feels like an eternity, it's finally the year of The Matrix 4, the latest chapter in the beloved Matrix franchise, which in the 90s completely transformed the world of futuristic science fiction, while at the same time confirming Keanu Reeves as one of the most popular action stars of all time. As a matter of fact, this latest chapter in the fight against simulated reality and advanced technology was supposed to be released at exactly the same time as John Wick 4, another film in an extremely popular action franchise starring Keanu Reeves, but for now, it has been postponed all the way to 2022. Another reboot we're all curious about is The Suicide Squad. Love it or hate it, the story of a group of supervillains saving Midway City from utter destruction in their own chaotic way cashed in the millions in 2016, and it later had curious fans crowded cinemas for the Harley Quinn spin-off called Birds of Prey. So of course, all eyes appealed for this new chapter, The Suicide Squad, which will also feature some new additions like Sylvester Stallone and John Cena. How could you miss that? And do you know what you also absolutely can't miss? Space Jam A New Legacy, a remake we never knew we needed but which we now just can't wait for. The original Space Jam film was a huge success in the 90s, and like other movies from the time, such as Who Framed Roger Rabbit, it featured cartoon characters in a live-action setting. In this case, the Looney Tunes characters ended up befriending basketball superstar Michael Jordan in our real world, in which all sorts of adventures occurred. In this 2021 sequel, Michael Jordan has been replaced by LeBron James, another of the greatest NBA players in history, and we all know it's going to be hilarious. But 2021 is particularly keen on the idea of cartoon characters in a live-action context, as a brand new movie with this style will be released, featuring two childhood favourites, Tom and Jerry. After years of chasing each other in a two-dimensional world and over a decade of development, they are out and about with all sorts of mischief in our real world, featuring some very famous faces like Michael Peña and Chloe Grace Moretz. Next up in 2021, we finally have one of the films audiences have been begging to see since the first news of it being in the works. We're speaking of none less than Dune, by acclaimed director Denis Villeneuve. Dune is based on the literary work of the same name, an epic interstellar story which made generations fall in love with science fiction, and its first novel was actually confirmed as the world's best-selling science fiction book. And if that weren't exciting enough, the cast is huge. Timothée Chalamet, Oscar Isaac, Zendaya, Jason Momoa, Josh Brolin, Rebecca Ferguson, just to mention a few. But the prize for most awaited and most postponed film definitely goes to No Time to Die, the latest James Bond film starring Daniel Craig. In this 25th Bond movie, the protagonist is assisted by a CIA agent portrayed by Ana de Armas, and he's trying to track down a missing scientist while a terrorist villain portrayed by Rami Malek is plotting a destructive plan he describes as just making the earth a little tidier. It is rumoured No Time to Die will be Daniel Craig's final time in the role of James Bond, so it's definitely unmissable. If instead you're more of an Ethan Hunt and Mission Impossible fan, don't worry, because even Tom Cruise will be back, this time in the seventh instalment of the long-running Mission Impossible franchise, again with a number of returning co-stars. And if that wasn't enough action, 2021 will also present us with the latest Fast and Furious film, which after various name combinations, Furious 7, Fast 5, Too Fast Too Furious, went for a plain F9. Amidst explosions and near-death car chases, this ninth Fast and Furious film has an unexpected villain. Lead character Dominic Toretto's younger brother and deadly assassin, portrayed by former wrestler John Cena. So whether you think the Fast and Furious movies have exaggerated big budget explosions, or whether you think they're some of the most fun films to watch each year, we know you're curious and you're going to get that ticket. Instead, animation-wise, 2021 has quite a long list, which includes all sorts of titles, even a My Little Pony movie and the new Minions film. But the most anticipated title has to be Raya and the Last Dragon, a new Disney movie in which a lone warrior is on a mission to track down the last dragon to exist and save her land from some sinister monsters threatening it. In 2021, Disney will also be bringing back a very famous villain, all the way back from the 60s and the popular animated film 101 Dalmatians. As a matter of fact, the protagonist will be Cruella de Vil, a criminal notorious for her love of fur. 
in a film of the same name, starring none less than the usually cute and innocent Emma Stone. And if you're the ultimate cinephile who can't wait for all the film awards, the 2021 contenders form an interesting batch. The biggest names in everybody's mouth seem to be Nomadland and Judas and the Black Messiah. Nomadland features Oscar winner Frances McDormand, famous for her roles in films like Fargo and Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, in her beautifully depicted newfound nomadic living, which has already garnered all kinds of awards while Judas and the Black Messiah is the nerve-wracking story of police infiltration within the Black Panther Party, so a combination of thrilling action and a well-thought-out storyline, all based on real events which occurred in the late 60s in Illinois. And for those who want their eyes to be pleased, after 20 years of filmmaking, which include, but are not limited to, The Grand Budapest Hotel, Moonrise Kingdom and Isle of Dogs, the King of Symmetry Wes Anderson is back with his new flick, The French Dispatch, featuring a stellar cast, all described as, quote, a love letter to journalists set at an outpost of an American newspaper in a fictional 20th century French city. Just how Wes Anderson can you get? If instead you missed the world of superheroes, which was put on pause for 2020 after a record of over a decade of uninterrupted Marvel films, this year's big movie is Black Widow, with Scarlett Johansson reprising her popular role and having to deal with her origins, long before the Avengers and confronting a dangerous conspiracy tied to her past. But that's not it for Marvel, as the highly awaited Eternals will soon be released, featuring the comic's famous humanoids who reunite after thousands of years of hiding to protect Earth from an imminent attack. Eternal features a huge cast with actors ranging from Angelina Jolie to Kumail Nanjani, from Kit Harington to Salma Hayek. And if that weren't enough, Spider-Man is also returning to the big screen, following the events of Spider-Man Far From Home, and featuring another huge cast, I mean, at this point, who wasn't acting this year, with Tom Holland, Zendaya, Jamie Foxx, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Alfred Molina. Yep, Doctor Octopus, one of the most famous villains in the Marvel Universe. 2021 is the time for Morbius, starring Oscar winner Jared Leto, whose character becomes Morbius the Living Vampire after attempting to cure himself of a rare blood disease. Instead, a sequel that comes over 30 years after its first chapter is Coming to America, starring none less than Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall reprising their roles as wealthy African princes who in the 80s moved to America and learned to live the frenetic New York City life. In 2021, they'll return to America after discovering there is a long-lost son all the way over in the Big Apple. Another dive to the past comes with a new Top Gun movie, Top Gun Maverick, released nearly 40 years after its first chapter and with Tom Cruise reprising his famous role of an expert pilot. Back in the day, Tom Cruise was just in his first film roles, just stepping into success and not knowing where he would have been all those decades later as one of the most famous actors of all time. But hold on, Ghostbusters is also returning to screen. Except for a 2016 spin-off, we haven't seen a Ghostbusters movie since the 80s, and in 2021, a family moves to a small town and discovers a connection to the original Ghostbusters team, who used to have a ghost-catching business, but who over time had become more of a myth. Well, don't worry, the long-lost memory will soon be back on the screens to excite fans of all ages. And if all these titles weren't enough, you're going to see Emily Blunt both fighting off monsters in A Quiet Place 2 and on a Jungle Cruise adventure with Dwayne Johnson. You're going to see Godzilla fight King Kong, Ryan Reynolds act as a rogue video game character in Free Guy, there's going to be a Mortal Kombat film, Korean movies are back at the awards with the beautiful Minari, you're going to hide behind your eyes watching the new Candyman film, West Side Story is back in cinemas 50 years later bringing back a piece of movie history, Disney is making a film on the Beatles, and there's also an Elvis Presley movie starring Tom Hanks. Phew, that was a lot. Well, if you want to keep up to date on all this information, watch the trailers for the latest releases, get all the latest news, make sure to subscribe to Film Is Now. And if you tap the notification bell, you'll never miss out on any news, and you'll be updated across all your devices. Also, why not get yourself some new cool movie merch? Film Is Now has a bunch of fun merch available right below this video.